Welcome, attractive and well-educated watchers, to a new game series. This is Civilization IV, but it isn't just Civilization IV. It's Civilization IV Caveman to Cosmos, which is a very special mod that is very near and dear to all of our hearts over at the Philosophy Collective. Because this game isn't just vanilla. This game has all of the technologies. And we don't mean like, oh, now sporting up to 400 technologies. Talk about, like thousands. Many, many thousands possibly at this point. We're not exactly sure how many they are. We're not going to count them up. We don't really care. That's not the point. The point here is that we have just reached the modern era. It's 1950. We've just started industrialism. And we're not even halfway there. As you can see, the further you go along, the tech tree doesn't get thinner. It gets thicker, until finally you're all the way up here with string analysis, and simulation awareness, and the alpha and omega point, whatever those are. We don't, we don't know what any of those are. Bottom line is that we, right now, are here. Not quite at the halfway point of collective history. Our people are just now studying antibiotics. However, the farthest that we've gotten is flight and industrialism. Flight's a big thing for these people. But that comes later, okay? We'll talk to you about that later. So, these people are Gondor. Yes, the kingdom of Gondor. Ruled by Tyrion Lannister. Yes, that Tyrion Lannister. And... Uh, this is our world. Uh, we know that the world is round, so our map allows that. Here, you will see everything. Everything that anybody knows. That anybody can know about this planet. We have already discovered. Most of the world is owned by Gondor which we are eventually going to name something else in a book that we plan to write. Maybe. Possibly. Down here live our stark and amazing friends who know themselves as Iran and they are ruled by Conan the Barbarian. Moving back in, the Islamic Republic of Iran, which is Buddhist and ruled by Conan the Barbarian. We have the Empire of Oman. They're also Buddhist and thus our friends. We have the Kiowa Empire, which we are trying desperately to take out. And we have all of these people. <clears throat> now, if you're one of those crazy people who's like, Shy, why don't you just start all over again? We tell you, you think that we're a masochist. And we are not. That is not our position. It's okay if it's yours. It just happens to not be our particular preference. We don't like doing that. We don't want to do this again. We've held back on all of the latest updates on this game just so that we can say we got to the modern era. It takes that long and that much work. Now, we came into this game on a comparably easy mode because we wanted to see what we could do with it. But now we're serious. We've got serious plans. We're in a golden age. We're researching antibiotics. Most of the world, except for those damn dirty Kiowa up north, are completely under heel. The only other people we have to worry about can't even speak our language or write, so we don't have to worry about them. So this, since we've technically already won this game, is going to be our entire series where we do fun little things and... Why is this empty? Oh, we know why. Yeah, sure, sure. So we're going to do fun little things, and we're going to try to wrap up some diplomatic stuff. From here on out is 1950. We're in the new era. Uh, peace is what we want. Well, look, there's Jerusalem. We named it Jerusalem, but it didn't come with that name. Yeah, so uh, from this game onward, we are generally going to be... Sorry, one moment. Uh, in this game onward, we're generally going to be doing it one turn at a time, 
or in 20 minute intervals, whichever works best, or whenever pizza night comes, in which case you all can just go to hell because pizza night is pizza night and we will gladly throw all of our fans off the bus for pizza. You don't even know. Uh, that's not true, guys. Sorry. Um, that's just a joke. Uh, anyway, so right now, we're really trying to clean up our land. We're trying to colonize other places, make good stuff. This ship of the line doesn't need to go anywhere. You need to continue shooting at this guy. <clears throat> Caveman to Cosmos is very near and dear to our heart. What the fuck are you? Vandal? Do we have some barbarian city on our... Mm -mm -mm. Never gonna work. Sorry, guys. Uh, we'll make a winery here. It has tons more resources than the initial game. As you can see, the uh, technology total is just off the chain. There are so many technologies. It takes so long to get down the technology technological path in this game. Uh, but at the same time, it's a real treat. You get to see your people go from uh, poo-flinging tribals that don't even yet live in caves and don't yet have language beyond, you know, gesturing and grunting at each other to a space-age society. Uh, now, the next update we've heard is going to be working on the Mars map, because Mars is going to be integrated in this game. At one point, you get done with this planet, and then you start going into a stellar, and then an, a galactic, and then eventually an intergalactic society. Uh, and we're very, very excited to be doing that. Because we can count on one hand the amount of people that we know that's even gotten as far as we've gotten in this particular game. Uh, which is... Three. Three. And we're included in that list, for the record. Wow, this is an amazingly small club. Uh, and we're technically in the modern day, but we can't stress enough. You know, you're seeing all these guys with trucks... But with actually how our uh, our little lore system goes, it is far more likely that these trucks are bringing out people, while all of the equipment and everything that they're carrying out, these workers, would be carried by mammoths and elephants. Uh, a long time ago, we trained the elephant and the mammoth, and they have dominated our society ever since. So that's, that's a big difference. Also, we kill a lot of things, but it's not really that important. We have lots of zoos. Uh, our joke about these guys is that the word zoo is one of the oldest words in their language. In their proto-language, like when they first started making language, the idea of holding animals captive and not killing them and not eating them was one of the first things that they came up with. Which is really cool when you think about it. Requires a marine institute. Plenty Beach should have a marine institute. At this point, if Plenty Beach doesn't have a Marine Institute, we're going to be a little sad. But it's been known to happen. Uh, also, if it doesn't have a Marine Institute, we're just going to buy one. Do we have a Marine Institute? Yeah, we have cars now, but also, once again, don't don't actually take that too seriously. It is far, far more likely that people are still riding around on elephants most of the time. People ride lots of elephants. They ride horses. Horses exist, but the elephant is really their horse, if you know what we mean. We have desalinization plants now. That's, that's kind of cool. Large or small. Okay, well... We would really like to know where our marine institutes are. We're big enough for it. Maybe we can't build it because we already have one. That would be believable. Alright, that's fine. We're not going to bore you with all this stuff. Yet. That's fine. Uh, remember to always get your sights. We accidentally skipped that one. Uh, we always build shaft mines instead of mines. Mines just become shaft mines eventually anyway. You're trying to be nice to nature, as we know. Uh, 
Uh, oh, yeah. And we're also putting our railroad infrastructure through, which is basically going to be just fine until maglev comes around. So after this infrastructural buff that we're doing with all these workers, they'll be able to sit pretty for a long time, not have to do anything. Until then, they got to work. And they got to work hard. <laughs> really hard. To build railroads. We're having a railroad boom right now. And, you know, we bet people are still scared of railroads as they were in our timeline. They had to, uh, they had to do, to do some work. <laughs> um, our people are actually really, despite they're going into the Industrial Revolution style era, they're actually really environmental. We try really hard to keep our city's air clean because it keeps happiness up. In this, you have air pollution and water pollution, and they're big things, and they're very dynamic and active parts of the gameplay. Uh, so we found out in the first time that we ever played this, it was a really bad idea to just go hog wild on literally every resource we could, because your metals pollute your air and your water. Uh, so, yeah. Also, it's good to plant trees when and where you can. But don't feel too terribly pressed about it, because there are other ways about it to make your environment better that you can do within your own cities. Generally speaking, just build a road to every single part. What's here? Mushrooms. Require mushroom gatherers. Do you ever get better? For... Okay, we will make mushroom gatherers. That's odd, but okay. Uh, we would think at this point we'd have something technologically better to grow mushrooms, but no, we're still gathering. A gathering, mushroom gathering society. That's fine. At this point, the uh, turns do take quite a while, which is why we're doing this mostly. The idea is one turn at a time. Right now we're being kind of... Invaded by some fools. But don't worry, that that's that, that particular city's always being invaded, invaded by some fools. What do we have here? A rifleman. Make sure that rifleman stays put. Make sure that this guy goes off and kills literally everybody. Automate hunt? Automate hunt. Alright. Uh, you make plantation, you move up here, you make railroad, you move over here, you make a railroad. Oh, that might have been wrong, actually. We probably want to build a farm there first, but whatever. We'll get back to it next turn. Our poor old Betsy has been having a problem lately. She is, she's processing with the best of them right now, guys, but she is an old bird. Here in the next month or two, we'll be getting a new computer, and we'll be able to break her in and experience all of the normal issues that come with having a new computer. And you might get to go through that fun with us. We'll see. We're, uh, we're working on other stuff outside of video games. A skunk? A skunk isn't an herbivore, you assholes. But they are nocturnal. Uh, yeah, so um, we're going to be working on other stuff. We're going to try to be getting a little bit back into our farm video stuff. But there's no uh, no guarantees that farm life will be back soon. Uh, however, we are, uh, we are presently working on... Is this ours? This is ours. Fuck yeah. Die, Kiowa scum. Yeah, so uh, we're presently working on a collaboration with another channel right now. Uh, we aren't sure if we're at liberty to say who, but it is going to be for our Philosophy Collective Science and Information channel rather than, uh, uh, oh, you know, just all of it. Just, just do all of it. Rather than uh, anything that we're doing here and now on the video game channel. Is that all of you? We just need the one for now. Is this the last one? Oh my god. 
their city was there. We didn't even take it down. Somebody else did. Oh, that's embarrassing. So yeah, Kaigua is their only one left. That's excellent. Because we're going to be able to drop them all right here next turn. Uh, while we're at it, we might as well just... Yeah, take it. In the meantime, we can also bring our Iron Frigate and our Man of War. Man of War. Pop them down on the opposite side of where our troops are going to come in. Because we have a part of this mod called Surround and Destroy on. Which means that if we have guys on this side over here, uh, across from any other unit, they get a bonus to attack. And uh, they get a bonus depending on how many other guys are there attacking on the other side. Uh, so next turn, we will pump a bunch of guys, move our ship over here, and we'll probably get a good 3-6% to 6 gain on running into this town. Which is good, because it already has zero defense. For now, we're going to uh, skip our turnover for these guys. Take care of some general business. And hunker down in Dol Amrath, because... These guys are just getting annihilated. We mean, not really, but they are not having a fun time. There are dudes in our territory we don't want. <clears throat> are we... No, we're not at war with Polynesia anymore. We, we once destroyed Polynesia, and this is them popping up, so... You know, we'll let Malaysia take care of them. They're already being boxed in by Malaysia, so, you know, and we're at war with the Apaches. There's there's nothing better to do but to haul our dudes on up here and plop them down into combat. Yeah. Well, guys, that was the first episode. We know it wasn't terribly much. It was really just an introduction to uh, Caveman to Cosmos. Uh, we didn't even show you, like, our home continent. This is our home continent. Actually, that was a really good shot right there. Boom, here we go. This is our home continent. That's Portland, our capital city. That's Astoria, our, uh, key city. And we're going to be... having more of these, hopefully. Thanks a bunch. This is the end of this turn. And we'll try to get more turns out to you soon. Uh, hope you like Civilization. We hope to have this particular series going on for a long time, if we have anything to do about it. And if everybody loves it, all the better. Have a great night. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.